golden retrievers have a pretty interesting story. It all started with this guy, Dudley Coutts Marjorie Banks, also known as Lord Tweedmouth. He was born in 1820 in Scotland, and he was really into dog breeding. He even wrote down all his dog breeding stuff in a big leather-bound book. That book is now kept safe at the Kennel Club in England. Now, Lord Tweedmouth wasn't just some random guy who liked dogs. He was super rich, thanks to his dad being a successful banker and his own smart investments. Anyway, he also loved hunting, and he wanted a dog that was really good at retrieving ducks and other birds during hunting. He mixed different dog breeds to create the perfect bird retrieving machine. First, he used a now extinct dog breed called the Tweed Water Spaniel. They were good at swimming and fetching in water and mixed it with Noose, a flat-coated retriever breed. Over time, he added in some other breeds like the Irish Setter, the Bloodhound, and Red Setter over the years to finally achieve the best breed known to mankind, the Golden Retriever. They were great at swimming and fetching, which was perfect for what he needed. The name Golden Retriever comes from their shiny golden-colored coat, which is one of their best features. The breed kept growing. Lord Tweedmouth's youngest son, Archie, took some of these dogs to North America. One went to Texas and another to Canada. That's how Golden Retrievers started spreading outside of Britain. In 1925, the American Kennel Club officially recognized the Golden Retriever as a breed. Since then, they've become one of the most popular breeds in the United States. They're not just family pets, they also work as guide dogs for the blind, therapy dogs, and in search and rescue teams because they're so smart and easy to train. It's pretty amazing how they went from being just a breeder's vision to a family favorite around the world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to boop that like button and subscribe to our channel. See ya!